yum 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 hey guys welcome back to my channel and today i have adoni here with me he just woke up from a nap so he doesn't want to leave my side um, so i'm just going to include him in this video but today i want to share my labor and delivery story with you guys with Banaya, who is currently on his sleep sleeping right now so um Benaya is already two months old um so this video is kind of late um but i just want to have it for a keepsake so that's kind of why I want to do it now, even though I know it's late. To begin with, it was August, what was it? It was August 14th. Um, I was in church and I want to say it was around 9 o'clock p.m. when my, I started having contractions and they seemed kind of more painful than usual. Um, so I started writing down the times that I was getting them, but they weren't like consistent or anything. Um, so I didn't really think nothing of it. I went to sleep that night and they went away. So then the next day, um, again, I was having the contractions, but they weren't consistent enough and they were kind of random at times. Um, they would happen within an hour, but they, like I said, weren't consistent. So it wasn't until Tuesday, August the 16th that, um, in the morning I went to the restroom and then I noticed some brownish mucus um, so I wasn't sure if it was my mucus plug or not until later on that day um, again I went to the restroom and I saw more mucus and this time the blood was like bright red so I was like okay I'm pretty sure this is my mucus plug the rest of the day I was just losing my mucus plug also the whole day during Tuesday I was feeling my contractions as well but they weren't consistent so later on in the night I think it was after I was doing laundry. Um, I started feeling my contractions a bit more painful um, to the point where like I would have to stay still just to like kind of let them pass. So I lasted like that for I want to say two hours and finally at 12 I was like you know what I'm gonna try and go to sleep because the previous days I would go to sleep and my contractions would go away. So I tried going to sleep and for the whole hour, it didn't even feel like I went to sleep at all. I kept on waking up from the contractions. Now that I'm thinking of it, I should have kind of known like, hey, but night is coming already. Um, but I didn't because for some reason, I don't know, I just wasn't thinking. I guess I was just tired. I don't know. But basically, um, I started feeling them more and I honestly, I didn't have my stuff ready and I didn't have Vanaya's stuff ready and Adoni was gonna go to my mom's house so my sister could take care of it. One of his stuff was ready also so for a whole hour while I was having my contractions because they did start feeling a little bit more consistent. I didn't jot the times down but I just figured they were more consistent because I was just feeling them more often. By that time you know it was really painful to feel my contractions and I just want to say my contractions were totally totally different than Adoni Dance. Adonis, I had back labor and I had strong pain in my lower back, but these contractions were just so much worse, like so, so much worse. I just want to put that detail in there before I forget. So I was getting my stuff ready, I was getting Benaya's stuff ready, and I was getting Adoni's stuff ready because Adoni was supposed to stay over there for like two days, so I had to get all that stuff ready. Um, and then I got myself ready to go to the hospital. So finally by the time we got to the hospital, it was like 3 o'clock after we went to go drop off Adoni at my mom's house and let my mom know that I was in labor. We go to the hospital, I get there, I have to give them a urine sample and I change it to that gown that they give you um, when you go to triage so they checked me oh and by the way before I forget also I'm forgetting a whole bunch of details the week no that same Monday I had gone in to my doctor's appointment I was at one and a half one and a half two centimeters dilated so they checked me to see how many centimeters I'm dilated and I'm five centimeters dilated I was kind of in shock I was like, what in the world with Adoni? I took forever to get to 10. So I was five centimeters dilated. They do the whole registering process and all that stuff. Um, they finally put me in the room. They start putting on my IVs and stuff. And they asked me if I want an epidural. And I said, of course. Um, I had also asked hubby to vlog, but he didn't want to vlog. Um, but basically, 
I was kind of freaking out because my contractions were starting to get a little bit more closer and they were becoming more painful and there was literally times where I just wanted to cry my mom was there and I literally cried for her because I just there was moments where I really just felt like I couldn't take the pain you know you try and relax and kind of just breathe it out so it doesn't like hurt more but before I got my epidural there was just times where I was starting to freak out I was scared I wasn't gonna get my epidural in time because I was already five centimeters dilated I was just freaking out um, I was also freaking out at the fact that he was going to be born already and I didn't feel like I was ready for him to be born um, but of course that's totally out of my control so a little bit before my finally when they put all the IVs in and um, they started giving my IV fluid and they were giving it to me kind of fast because as you know you have to have fluids in you before they can actually give you the epidural so I was waiting for the bag to finish um, in that instant my water bag broke also so it felt with Adonis they had to pop his with Benaya's my water broke on its own and it was crazy because I literally felt like I went to the restroom on myself so that happened and I was getting my contractions and literally the pain is so indescribable I literally felt like my insides wanted to come out finally after what felt like an eternity I winded up getting my epidural oh my god now the process of getting epidural no sit down you can't give him a chicken nugget <laughs> was nothing like it was before i tend to have this weird ticklish spot on my back right where they put the epidural or close by so hubby stayed outside because he let my mom do it which i'm glad that my mom ended up staying with me because she literally she was holding my head down i was getting my contractions they were hurting, the ticklish spot was bothering me. It's just like everything all at once was just insanely crazy. I just wanted some pain relief. That's all I wanted in that moment. Finally, got the epidural. I think by the time I got the epidural, I wanna say it was maybe like six o'clock, I think. I'm not sure of the time, to be honest. I already forgot and you know, what a shame that I didn't do this video before, but I forgot and I have the worst memory ever finally i want to say like at seven she checked how far i was dilated and i was already at 10 centimeters dilated i was in shock because from the moment i got in at three o'clock roughly three o'clock a.m it might have been a little bit later but from then all the way up to seven o'clock in four hours i dilated so quickly i say this because with Adoniram's birth like his took forever literally it I felt like it took forever but this time everything happened just so so fast that I couldn't believe it and I kind of started freaking out a little bit on how I was gonna push because the first time if you know being a first-time mom you have no idea what the heck you're doing but um, so finally my doctor came and they set up the whole room and everything and my mom was there and hubby was there everybody else was in mexico and i have a vlog where i talk about it more and i'll link it down below if you want to know the whole backstory on that but i was just getting there preparing preparing myself um and literally in three pushes i pushed out benaya and of course the moment that you hear your baby cry for the first time is just an overwhelming feeling and you're just so happy and he literally looked like Hadoni when he was born he was just so cute and they took him over and they started cleaning him and my mom and hubby were over there taking pictures of him and Benaya weighed um, six pounds and 11 ounces and he was 20 and a fourth inches long i think that's how you would say it but he was he weighed less than adoni when adoni was born but he was longer than adoni if that made any sense his little feet also were like i guess because he was so long in there which kind of explains why he would always be bothering me um he his little feet were like kind of i guess bend a little bit because obviously they're bended in the womb um but it was just crazy like his his delivery was 
totally totally different than Adoniram's and it's crazy how different they can really be like you hear all the time you know babies are all different which they are they definitely are but also like every delivery is different every pregnancy is different it's crazy it really is so i think that's pretty much it for my labor and delivery story so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't already if you'd like to see more of my videos featuring this little guy right here and benaya and i'll see you for my next video bye guys um mama mama yum 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 yeah ¿Cómo se dice? ¿Agua? ¿Sí? Ok. But, no, chicken nuggets. ¿Qué le pasa a chicken nuggets? No pueden comer chicken nuggets, ellos. ¿Qué are you doing? ¿Qué are you doing? ¿Estás comiendo chicken nuggets? I hope you guys en... Hey. Wow. ¿Estás bien, buddy? <laughs>